Hello and welcome to part six now of uh, building your own server. Hope I'm not boring you to tears yet. Um, right, as you can see, I've now got both those processes in place. Now I can't stress um, how important it is to just take your time and make sure you get that right, especially when we're looking at the cost of these processes. I mean, each of these processes was over, well, around about $500 each. So that's a thousand um, dollars of processing power and you could just imagine one mistake and you know you've, you've thrown away an awful lot of money um, so you know that's that's pretty important to make sure you get that right right now as you can see I've attached on the uh, on the left hand side um, this one here that's the ring that's going to um, secure the water cooling I think I you may remember if you've been following my videos all the way through I decided to go for the, the Antec water cooler. Um, I looked at Corsair, uh, and I also looked at um, a couple of others as well. I really wanted the Corsair one, to be honest with you. Um, there was a couple of things which um, persuaded me to, to take to, to, to select this one. First of all, um, the Corsair had a very, very bulky pump on the end of it. Very bulky indeed. Um, secondly, uh, that's the, the pump for this one, if I can just remove that, you can see the size of that pump in comparison. The Corsair pump looks to be about two and a half, two and a half inches high. Um, secondly, again, reading the, or listening to the YouTube reviews, um, it was very obvious that the Corsair tubing was a lot stiffer, and so more difficult to actually um, uh, manipulate inside the case and I thought well that's a feature that might might be an issue for me and so I thought I'll go for the for the one that's far more pliable this is just made of rubber um, the radiator wasn't as uh, it, so the radiator on the Corsair one is identical to this one uh, unless I went for the higher the next model up which was their 870 um, and I would be paying uh, quite a bit more for the 870 in comparison to the Antec uh, and again, I didn't think that was necessarily worth it. The reason why I'm going for water cooling, by the way, um, I'm not intending to overclock this. This is, a, this is purely a, a server for work. Um, just basically um, running, uh, it's going to be a file server, um, running a, a small database and um, serving, um, it's dealing with uh, obviously all the emails of um, 10 workstations in total. Uh, and it will provide all the features of, uh, that, 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 that um, Small Business Server 2008 does provide to a, to a business. So that's its primary purpose. Um, but that motherboard in there could actually have up to six uh, fans, uh, six case fans that is, and two CPU fans will all run off that motherboard. So there wasn't an issue with doing air cooling uh, from the point of view of being able to to actually, you know, get them to work, and you can imagine a case this size. I wouldn't this size. I wouldn't have any problem at all in, in, in attaching as many fans as I needed to. It was sheerly, it, it was purely down to aesthetics, and well, to an extent, cost as well, because all those fans obviously cost money, um, but and also noise. Uh, and as I said, living here in Western Australia where the temperatures can soar to 40 degrees in, in the summer. Um, it's obviously always an issue that I have to have at the back of my mind is, you know, is there a likelihood of anything getting, getting overheated? Um, so it was really just hearing on the side of caution that made me go down the water cooling route. Um, and the simplest way for a novice, I believe, to go to go down that route is to literally buy these purpose-made water cooling units. There's a pump at one end, a radiator at the other. Uh, the liquid inside is obviously designed for for computers, um, and all the cabling is in place uh, for the fans, etc. So it's just a, a, a situation of a case of, of, of following the instructions. Um, in the in in here, as I said, I didn't need any of the back plates. I found out in the end because this motherboard has has its own uh, back plate molded onto the back of it, and so I didn't have to worry. But there are back plates. That's one for Intel CPUs. Uh, there's another one here for AMD CPUs. Um, that is the AMD 
CPU um, catch to actually secure the pump to the top of the CPU. Uh, and there's also a fan that comes in here as well, um, an Antec fan, which is designed to be put on the front of the radiator and then it draws air out. Um, or if you want to, you could draw air in. I'm actually going to be sucking air out um, in this case because I'm going to fit these um, radiators on the top of my case. So they're actually going to go up there. Um, I'm hoping to put them with the pipes running down at the back, um, simply because I think it would be neater if I have the pipes coming down there, allowing airflow. Um, it won't block any airflow around, 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 the other, around the other parts of the, um, of the computer. Um, one of the things which I was going to mention was um, I could have looked at air coolers, um, but my concern with the air coolers was, you can see in my particular case, the processors are quite close to one another. And some of these air coolers are, are quite bulky these days, and there was a worry that the ones I might end up selecting might end up um, fouling one another. Um, and I was concerned about that. And also with two great big air cooling blocks inside this case, it would also impede airflow, um, in, in, you know, across the rest of the rest of the components. And, and I wasn't too happy about that either. So that was the other reason why I've decided to go for water cooling. And I think, to be fair, water cooling does seem to be the way forward. Um, you know, a few years ago, it was very much um, seen as a bit of a maverick thing that uh, people were doing and they were having to create large reservoirs of water on the back of their cases uh, because they didn't have any water, they didn't want any water on the inside, they had all these tubes coming out onto a, a separate water bath all laid out here. These days, they're a lot more refined and so I thought maybe it was time that I, uh, I looked at, you know, following that. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to unbox this um, second Amtec um, water cooler for you. Just so you have a look inside um, what you get with, with when you purchase it. Right, so it's reasonably straightforward. In here you get a uh, cardboard egg carton type um, shell. There's an instruction manual. Um, which again you can download off their website. So uh, you can have a look at this in advance and get an idea of whether you think it's something that you would be uh, up to doing. But that basically tells you all the choices you've got with regards to all the different back plate attachments and, um, and pump attachments. Um, so there's that in there. Also in here is the um, is a sealing seal bag which has got, as I mentioned before, all your various um, components. The back plates are made of plastic, uh, the pump attachments are made of metal, pressed metal. Um, you've got some very long um, fan screws, these are so they will go through the radiator, uh, they will pass through the fan and through the radiator before they attach to, uh, to, 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 to the case itself. Uh, there's also some little rubber grommets in there, I suppose, just to be like anti-vibration. So that's quite useful. Um, the actual attachments for the pump brackets are all in here. In my particular instance, because I'm going for Intel, as you can see, mine are blue. So it's just a case of um, putting those in the appropriate slots. Um, very easy to do, there's just four of them, you just go around, one. You have to put them around in the correct orientation, the instructions tell you which orientation to use. One, two, three, and finally four. There are some purpose design screws for attaching this to the back plate on the motherboard. You can just screw those down. They are probably about just under an inch long, two centimeters maybe. And once you've gone around and put those four in, it'd just be a case then of just putting it up against the, uh, the motherboard and 
screen it down. You can see I've already put one in there already. This is just going to be the second one. Something else I've just noticed in the um, in the packaging, which I'll just tell you about. There we go. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Just doing that all the way around. So that will obviously go there over that next motherboard. Um, and that's these little metal sleeves. Now what they do is um, you select, if you haven't got a back plate on the back of your motherboard like I had, um, you select the appropriate back plate, be it AMD or Intel. You also make sure you get the correct set of alignments depending upon which processor in that manufacturing range. So if it's an Intel 1366 like mine, you go for the, the ones which are furthest apart from one another, and you just literally push these sleeves through the hole, and they click into place, and then they pop through the back of your motherboard. You can hold them in place so you haven't got to try and do, do it all one-handed uh, with some sticky Velcro pads. No, they're not Velcro, so they're just, they are just sticky pads, uh, and they are somewhere. I did see them a few minutes ago. They've obviously fallen on the floor. They were definitely in here. Anyway, I just have to take my word for it, because I appear to have lost them. Um, but I didn't need... Oh, here they are. Here they are. And they are just um, sticky, double-sided sticky tape pads. Just for holding this in place. So, um, the next time you see me, I will have installed both these um, pump holders, and you will also see how I'm intending to mount the radiators on the top of the case. As you can see, in my particular situation, I've got um, plenty of room on the top of that case. There is actually space for three fans, but I don't believe the space for three radiators. Um, not three individual ones anyway, because they've obviously got um, a certain amount of um, moulding around the outside of them. Right, so I'll speak to you again soon.